Oh, hey, mate. Flippers, that's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> <Pretty good. laughs> You're getting old, mate. Yeah. We're wearing the flippers. <sighs> Do you ever miss a day? You swim every day? Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Okay. Down here on the para today, fishing with Roger. Give us a little wave like that. No, nah, hey, that's a. Uh, isn't, it, isn't it that one? We don't wave like that in New Zealand, mate. But don't, don't you wave like. like... I only just. just like, for a crab at that first pole, nothing. Oh. Um, but found there's. A lot. Yeah. Like I'm thinking there's uh, them silvery boys here. Yeah, I reckon. This fish getting smoked up. Big Jew. Yeah. Um, there's Mulan, all sorts of crap down here at the moment. Beautiful. Surprised that you can actually cast this rod, but at the same time, you 75 foot line, you don't want it too far from the boat. Yeah, there are arches there. Big arches. Oh, and they're in town, so why isn't that getting whacked? Yep. Yeah, I'm on. I think it's a flathead, but they are good arches, man. What is it? Oh, that's a little broom. Is that getting bites now? Yeah, it is, yeah. See those arches coming up all over the sounder? There's bigger brim than that in those arches, but... Getting right into this mumble cam. Like, I hold it in my mouth and I get so much better view. How good is it that they're back up to the floor? Hey? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. There's a snake down there. Yeah. The other one wasn't a snag though. Oh, had him. And again. Nylon, so he's hard to have it set the hook. <laughs> yep, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, no, no, no. It's a good fish, man. Oh, no, it's not. But you just hold that camera out of my mouth. Oh, is he still on? Yeah. I'm planning to go get it. I just wanted to get one bream on the $15 combo, man. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost illegal. Oh, see that. It's better than the one you actually caught. Yeah. Mate, I'm telling you. The uh, a fifteen dollar combo, and I actually bought the jig heads from Big W as well. They were seven bucks. Yeah, we better get your gear back. So, uh, it's definitely recommend it for a bit of fun. No, that's a broom. They use out deeper. Oh, I want to swing the boat around. So that's good. You got to start on a Z-Man as well. So. We've got three lures working. Well, that took you, what, about four casts? Yeah, but that's all right. We had to know if they were biting the hard body, so. And that didn't take long at all. Oh, he's got a nice brim, mate. That's what we come for. Yeah, then. Yep. Oh, we might need a bit of nip on. Oh. Lip, eh? Yeah, okay. Where is the nip? Oh, There's a nice broom there. Yeah, it's alright. Our yeah, morning's already a success, so. Cubby. Cubby. Oi. Get a cover shot while we're here. Just hold him up. There. You get ah. Uh, smile. I am smiling, believe it or not. <laughs> no, that's why I say it. Right, I let him go. Our objective today is catch multi-species, so. 
got nothing on it. I'm just go dragging it really. Here's a flat iron. Oh, the brim. Far brim up. on a four inch Z man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if I swing around here, I want to get a good picture of him. That's how savage the brim are. Awesome. Three eighth jig head. Sharp teeth too on him. I've just got a rag, kind of a rag. Yeah, I've got a Parramatta rag before. It's a rag. Unless it wakes up, but I'd say it's a para rag, mate. It's acting like a big Parramatta rag. <laughs> Bring it around here. Bring it around here. That's two minutes with a four inch Z man. You will that lift him up? That's a big fatty. Ah, uh, let's net him. So it looks like big is the go. Let's just fish big all day, eh? I called it for a fish trade up because I thought it fought and then it didn't. Excuse me. Big is the go. Excuse me. Trade. <laughs> you love those nets. We can't eat these ones, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you know, they come from the ocean, so they taste delicious, but I just, there's no way I'm going to eat them. It's a rag today. I'm only trying to stick my finger in its dock. At some stage in this tide, <laughs> at least don't get cut though, see? At some stage in this tide, but there'll be a school of dew come through, so. Just keep using these lures. My cough's still there. What's that? Cowley poison. Yeah, but it's a uh, herring. That's a good chew bait. Put the four inch bass minnow on this rod. First cast. I didn't even hit the bail arm over and I'm on. Drag loose or is it something we want oh, to It's change? fairly loose, but. I don't even think this fish is awake yet. It's not acting like a flathead. So it's got a 3 eighth of an ounce jig head, a size two, just a bit nice brim. Look at that. 3 eighth of an ounce jig head, a size two hook. That's my first cast with it. And look. Now they're starting to wake up. Oh, look at the sound of now. Yep. Usually he's on the tea bag under there. Hold that for a sec. The reason I left it on such a heavy head is I just wanted impact. The only trouble is it's only six pound litre, so we do get a good dew. It's a nice brim though, eh? Yeah. Oh. That's the relua. It's pretty big, but I was watching what you were catching. Oh, we're going to hit a pile. Pass me that. Gotta jump up there. Oh, say goodbye to you. Get my little boy rod out. Roger's legs. Still, they're whacking that four inch Z man. What is it? Oh, flat dog. Flat dog. I'll get out of your way for a minute. Oh yeah, that could be my Jew. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's a good fish, man. Yeah, that's my second cast with a four inch bass minnow today. The first one got that brim. Now it's not running now, so it's gotta be. Just 
just goes to show that if they want big, they want big. I don't know what it is. It's, it can't be a Jew. It's got to be a flathead. Oh, Ooh, it's got a head shakes. That last little tail beat almost. Oh, it's a Jew. Is it? Yeah. Uh, first, my first Jew. We well, we went out the target Jew. Can you grab that camera again? I even got the hook up on this one. I mean, I'm only six pound line, so this is a good start at Jew. But that was the second cast with the four inch bass minnow. Nice to catch that man. You see that? Just get the camera in. See in that clear water. Beautiful fish. A cute little one. Here's a cutie, all right. Still a Jew, mate. That's what we targeted. Um, Mother's Day, hey. <laughs> a Mother's Day Jew. Look, there it is. Where's your net? Just gotta try and upgrade it now. It's up yeah. back there. Still, I had to get. Look, sorry, Mum. My mum watches these videos. And I love her dearly. Like, she's the best mum in the world. And she understands that. Sorry, Mum. But first of all, I'll show you the, the bait. That's the four inch bass minnow there. I mean, how easy was that? Two casts, two fish, a nice bream and a jew. And, uh, sorry, mum. Whoa, oh. I love the purple colours in them. Yeah. They must eat themselves because that's the best colour. He looks like he hasn't been up here that long. Most of the ones they nah. catch up this way are real dark coppery. I was saying to you, with these Jews, when they come in the autumn, they come in in the gang and they find you. They simply find you. Right, let's get that back in there. Let him go. Come in pretty quick, sir. Look at that. See ya, buddy. Awesome, man. I'll get that. And shake your hand. Thank you for that. Day yep, I got my mother's day due. Only little. Oh, a little flat out on my four inch bass minnow. And look, he swallowed it. Where's that? Oh, I love it. I have a huge confidence in these. I spent one entire winter. Um, it's one of my OCD things is over the years, I, I'll spend a winter with one lure. Like I, I bass fished all one year for 12 months with a surface spinner, fizzer. Oh, there it goes. And I spent one full winter with this four inch bass minnow and I caught everything, like the amount of trevally that smashed it. Come on, man, I want my lure back. Come here. We need a flathead cribber. I've got a ton of these minnows though, so. Well, I know this lure's working and, you know. Yeah, it's working. The down there wouldn't want to have a crack at that. I, yeah. Like Years ago, I was down on the point and there's two mates of mine, two Flick and Greg Silver, two absolute gun fishermen. Two Flick? <laughs> yeah, two Flick. Two Flick catch them. Top people, top fishermen. And, uh, I could hear him from miles away. He could say, oh, F and this, F and that, I might as well F and go home. And when I got over there, Two Flicks said to me, you'll agree with me? And I said, what? And he goes, Greg had pulled out a gulp. The gulps had just turned up. And he goes, when someone puts a gulp on, you might as well just stop fishing or use a gulp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on again. Or use a, use a gulp, otherwise you're not gonna get anything. And it's... Well, I just got a, I'm a huge believer in the power bait and gulp sense. Like the power bait, they say in the pack it holds 20 times longer. Well, it, it does. It's so another flathead this, but if I find any more dew, I'll get them too. So, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's like we were using just any non-scented rubbers and stuff back in the day. Everything was working, but once you put one of these scented Berkeleys on, the other mate would stop catching fish. Oh, oops. I'm already happy because I've got my mother's day due and 
everything else is just a bonus. Is it mum anyway? Because I don't want to get her sick. So mum, I love you. What's who got planned? Oh, my missus asked if the dog had anything planned for Mother's Day. Oh. Uh, this is a start going that really erratic retrieve, so I'll just start doing that now. Yep. Well, I've had... Oh, that was a question someone asked me the other day. When when do you stop with the hard bodies and things? And when you go to blades and plastics, and that's that's when you do it. When they're shooting mud on the deck of your boat, that means they're feeding on the bottom. and. It's time to hit the bottom with heavy stuff. Still, the old four inches still out fishing everything. Looks it. Might have to start casting my lure again. Oh yeah, nice buddy. You got a boat flipping or you want to? Yeah, a couple of nice bloodheads so. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Where's those pliers? Just grab that. Sass my leader up there. Yeah. See how they reckon if they're on, you get them on their back, they, they get really close so. up. Fell out. See that? That's a. We told it over and over and over. If you get them upside down, they just so numb just ass. Relax, mate. Yeah. Him over. Get him? This one, yep. How's that for camera work? I'm a flat. Jeez, they've rolled into town, haven't they? Put him on his back, see if that works again. I've been really slack. I haven't answered any of my comments for videos. Just, just the way it is. Look, it worked. Keep him that way, he should stay that way. Oh, there you go. There's one uh, old timer's trick that seems to actually be working. Yeah, the, the video we did last time, Roger, do you know how many people, or not that many, but a few of them commented going, ah, you got Roger. And I thought about it, I got Roger four times on that video. Yeah, I haven't been Roger for. I oh, know, I got Roger four times and, and why I did the edit. Why did I edit that stuff into it? Might have to Oh I don't know but you're gonna have to help me out here I think. Oh no, it's coming to the boat now. Jeez it was a big run. Oh here we go again. Yeah, this is a good fish. I just got to watch my other rods out. I mean, for $15, I'm having, that's a brim. I'm having more fun on this rod than I have on any rod for a long time. Look at the size of that. Yeah, I'll get you the, the camera dude on that. Screen's clean. I just want It's probably the most uncoordinated shit I've ever seen. What the hell? Oh, oh no. Oh, that's a good fish, man. I don't think I'm going to use the net. I don't know. I don't want to catch him. Full catch of my 15 dollar fish. Look at that. Oh, well, they're fighting again. He's not a giant giant, but he's um like for this. I'd say he's not bad at all. He's a cracker. 
It's like through the shoulders. Yeah. Just goes to show, I've got some uh, like $800 setups on this boat at the moment. <laughs> You're fishing a Miller. And I'm fishing a big W combo. Look at that. Look at these nice big blue lips. Yep. And that. Cracker. How cool, so. The only really reason I come in here was to do that. And I've caught big carp on it but now I've caught like a you can pretty well say that's a nice big brim I've caught on it <laughs> that was awesome I'm gonna do it again oh <sighs> looks like another flathead <laughs> oh, gee. first cast nice that's a cranky crab fish, so Rogie's going right through the lures today. Caught me off guard there. It's a nice fish, eh? I was thinking all my drags a bit yeah. loose and then as I was tightening it, I felt it. Got him slammed, straight on the drop. I was hoping that wasn't going to happen because I'm fishing really heavy. Oh. <laughs> a little bit too close for my thumb to his jaw for that. I've seen that. Paper. Yeah, I got a one eighth on it. I don't want to change, so if you get two more like that, I will. I was having an iron about throwing the Z man or this. There's one class, mate. Did its job. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh, getting bites here. Oh, whack. Well, someone wanted mine on the bottom. Nice. Well done, Rog. <laughs> I turned the camera on just in time for it to slam into the foot control. Oh, you guys didn't see that on the camera. But I just put a banana. Yeah. My God, it just screamed. I don't think we're going to leave here this afternoon. This, oh, this morning. This is just too easy. Please come back. Come back to Papa. Oh, he's a good fish, man. I'm just bordering on getting us kicked out if I don't get this boat outside of this edge. I've got him now. Oh, this must be some fish in this marina, eh? Yeah, chunk. You're getting sort of complacent when you're boat flipping these boys like that, eh? <laughs> Still. Uh, Roger got those cranky crab fish until he lost his crab. So I switched back to me old faithful gulpy. Oi! We got one of them. Something meaty, eh? Alright, see so what I can do. This is a once a month thing where they've got all these different food vans. So it's a great way when you're fishing to stop and have a bit of lunch. Oh, that looks good. Roast meat. Well, I just got to let your nose do the work here. What have we got over here? Pancakes. Donuts. I could wait for my order to come in so that I'll have a look around. I wonder what he did for the fish kill. Oh, 
little pin is love, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to take that. Hey, mate. How are you doing? Good. We've had two major fish kills in this river in the last three months. Yeah. You got any policies against it? Yeah, we, in terms of that, like, we know that the Parramatta River has been polluted for... No, 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 months. we've had chemical spills. Yeah, yeah, what? Two major fish kills. They've come from Hazen Creek. We reported to EPA. Go and Google up their statement. Yeah. It's all bullshit. Yeah. And no one's doing nothing about it. Well, yeah, right. What we want to do with our funding is obviously fund environmental protection, but we're looking at putting in an independent watchdog. Yeah, we need river keepers. River keepers, yeah. yeah. Watchdogs across the environment right. to look after it. So that's that's certainly one of our, our key elements of our environmental can I, plan. Can I just ask, so in terms of details on that, because I'd like to... Mate, uh, uh, yeah, easy. It. This GoPro, Google up Windsor Bait and Tackle. Windsor Bay on YouTube and tackle. Yeah, Got and it. you'll see all the fish kill information. There's videos, countless videos we've done on it. Do you know where the chemical spill originated? Yeah, I do. Windsor Bay, uh, it's from the top end of Hazen Creek. It's off a clean away site run by Sydney Water. Uh, it's It killed everything from right up that, that bay there to the top of the creek. <coughs> to here to Parramatta, every right. single fish. On what, what type of site was it, sorry? A... It's a clean away site yeah. that the pipe's coming out of with the chemicals. Check out Windsor Bait Tackle for the fish kills. So you've got you've got that video up? Oh yeah, I've got several, several. Got we've filmed the whole lot. Right? Yeah, right. The mangroves, we've filmed all the mangroves are poisoned, they're all dead. Yep. All the mussel beds in here are dead. The fish are coming back now. Is it affecting the mangroves? The green oh yeah, they're dead. I've filmed it all. The ones check, up here check, in Meadowbank, those yeah, mangroves. Yeah, check it out. Check yeah, my right. footage out. If you go through the videos, you'll see, you'll see one there yeah, that, a right. few weeks ago. I go inside the mangroves and I film everything with this camera. Um, everything's on there, so Sweet. Um, yeah, check are it you out. Are okay if we repost that? You can do what you want with it, yeah, mate. If this Thank fish kill stops, much. I'll vote green. All right. Cheers. No worries. Good see, you. You. see you guys. Sort of bacon, sausage, and egg because the beef queue was too big. Yep. Just don't. Whoa. Just don't have that balance quite yet. It'll come back. All good? Every time I go out with you, I play like 10 seconds of um, my generation's music. And I started with uh, Dynamo Hums from Frank Zappa, and then I, I did a Pity Patty song, and then I did um, Don't Go Near the Yellow Snow by Frank Zappa. And then I did uh, Take Me to the River last week. And finally, some of the guys that watch the videos are starting to pick up on the songs I'm playing. So today, have you ever heard, the, have you watched Deliverance? Yeah. 